Yo guys, it's IP here, back again today with another shit video. And today, we're going to be talking about something that hasn't been relevant for a very long time. You know, for like six plus months, because goddamn, as soon as a game falls out of relevancy within the first like month or whatever, it, it's, it's completely fucking dead, especially on PC. But regardless of that fact, I felt like making a video on this because it's been something I've been playing a lot recently, and quite frankly, I've been enjoying quite a bit more than I expected. Now, for those of you who don't know or perhaps don't really give a shit about The Division, recently the game received a patch, which is its 1.4 patch that reworked a lot of the way that loot drops worked, it rebalanced weapons, it introduced new functionality in the terms of world tiers and stuff like that, where basically once you reach max level, as your gear score increased and you got better items, you know, increasing your stats, your DPS, your health, and your skill power, or whatever the fuck they call it, it would basically unlock, unlock world tiers so that way when you were running around pretty much anywhere in the game the overall level of enemies would increase and basically you wouldn't like cap out where you would basically continuously get better and better gear so like the game would just progressively get more and more easy rather than that it would more so as you increase the world tier the game would sort of progressively continue to get harder and thus you would get even better loot drops and stuff like that and it basically just added more longevity to the entire world in general because not only do these world tiers apply when you're just free roaming or whatever and exploring they also apply within missions and stuff like that so perhaps if you were one of the people who early on would run Lexington over and fucking over when gold drops were super rare and eventually once you got your gear up enough you could basically just run that fucking blindfolded pretty much because your gear was so good that you could just run it in fucking 15 minutes like not even which was something that I definitely did when the game was sort of in its infancy I guess you could say I basically yeah I, I would run that over and over again just to get gold drops because it was next to impossible to get them reliably from any other source which for whatever you know you know well we're not getting into how broken that was in this video in particular because obviously that's kind of irrelevant now with the string of patches that have come since then and it's a lot easier to get higher end gear in the sense that that dro actually drops frequently like you still have to do activities that can sometimes be difficult to get it but at the same time it's not so ludicrously rare that you just don't want to play the game now basically what this would have done in that scenario was as you continued to um, run the missions that you were running over and over again so in instead of things becoming progressively easier you could at certain points raise your world tier and there are currently four tiers to the world that you can unlock as your gear score increases and the enemy's maximum level would basically increase so say basically you would be running around the world and their max level was 30 then you'd go to the next tier and they'd be 31 32 33 and i believe right now the max world tier yeah they're at level 33 so obviously that's what you know they max out at and i have reached the point where i am still continuously getting better gear and with them at the max world tier it is still kind of easy but it's still definitely far more of a challenge than it would have ever been playing on the single tiered world that was previous to this patch so I will say that when I'm running especially missions that are intended for groups and I'm trying to run them solo it's quite a bit more difficult than it would have been previously because obviously running those missions at the lower world tiers which I have tried especially the ones where they're like you know challenging difficulty and they're all like yes this is best for a group if I'm max gear score and whatnot it's it's kind of it can be difficult if the game throws some weird bullshit at you but for the most part you can still run them solo on world, world tier 4 that's that's pretty much fucking impossible. Now, of course, this increases the, like, longevity and the challenge the game presents, sometimes in unfair ways, whereas enemies just kind of become even more bullet spongy than they were previously. But whatever the case is, if you're someone who's actually interested in this game, then clearly that doesn't matter to you because that's how it's been from day one. Now, basically, before this these string of patches came out, I played out about 100 hours of the game where I pretty much 
cruise through all the content in a few weeks or whatever and I basically I reached max level got sick of the dark zone because it was super unbalanced and they were the, the people who were really good at the game or had a group basically just fucked over everyone that was playing solo and that was my big issue so clearly the, the end game content which was the dark zone is completely pointless at that point so with the release of the underground expansion and with the release of these world tiers and quite a bit more um, solo capable content so to speak content that you can actually play solo and enjoy I felt like it was a good time to return to the game and give it a try of course I didn't have high expectations when I did so and quite frankly I've been very pleased with the way it's come out because I've been that's pretty much the only game I've been playing as of late um, even with Battlefield 1 Titanfall 2 on Shadow Warrior 2 all in my library I've been really drawn into sort of the the grinding nature and just the whole dynamic that is the division I love the sort of stat grinding sort of games and stuff like that which is also something that I really loved about Borderlands although I did not play nearly as much of any of the Borderlands games as I have the division I think it's mostly because I really enjoy the atmosphere of the world the whole post-apocalyptic kind of feel of New York City is really unique in the sense that the way they've executed it the level of detail they've put into the world despite the fact that the game does not center around storytelling there seems to be be so much going on in it even though you know most of the time you're running down abandoned empty streets and stuff and it's pretty quiet it still has a really unique sense and feel to it that I l absolutely love and then of course putting on some good gameplay mechanics on top of it that really make me want to come back and continue playing it has really drawn me back into it the way that it did the first time now one of the things I do want to mention at least this has been my experience it probably isn't something that's localized but in 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 that case just you know keep that in mind it could be something that's just wrong on my end but something I've noticed a lot is that performance in the game like in terms of frame rate and whatnot I'm running the same hardware I had when I bought the game and for whatever reason performance seems to have declined pretty pretty steeply now of course the video that you're seeing here was recorded at 60 frames per second at a resolution of 2560 by 1080 obviously when it's uploaded to YouTube the bitrate will be dropped significantly but I will be uploading it at that 2560 by 1080 resolution so if you have a fucking ultra wide monitor you can actually watch it full screen and if you don't I'm not gonna be making it a habit to upload videos like this but you know just felt like it would be kind of cool to test it out sometime and see what you guys thought but overall one of the things I noticed was despite the game not actually obviously looking any better because they haven't done any graphical improvements it seems to run about 10 to 15 FPS lower than it did when I first bought the game not sure what the problem there is it just seems to just do that for no particular fucking reason so of course that's kind of disappointing especially since when I lower the actual in-game settings it also does doesn't seem to affect the performance and I know it's not my processor um, I have an i7 4790k in this and I mean while P division pushes the processor quite a bit harder than most games and probably harder than it should it still is hovering at around 65 percent 70 percent utilization so I know it's not that and there are games that are far more CPU intensive that perform better than this so I honestly don't know what the issue is but regardless of that it is mostly a stable 60 frames per second in a mixture of like medium and high settings so we'll see hopefully in the next few months I'll be getting uh, I'll be upgrading my 970 to something else and we'll see if it was perhaps a GPU bound issue or whatever if I do bother to come back and play the game at that point but regardless of that fact I've been seriously enjoying these new content updates all the new shit they've been adding to the game has been absolutely fantastic and quite frankly it's I've really enjoyed it up until this point I'm not I'm, I was a bit surprised because I once was not expecting to enjoy the game as much as I have especially after having sunk as much time into it and then eventually sort of dropping off but the added content in the underground expansion and even all of the free stuff that they've added through the patches up till 1.4 has really brought a lot of life back to the game the loot has been really rebalanced it seems like the <laughs> there isn't any 
weapons anymore that are absurdly powerful where basically it was like if you had a fucking first wave m1a1 with the balanced talent a good dps stat and then you had a fucking vector with a few good stats like those were the only two good guns in the game and if you had those then literally everything else in the game was useless like fuck all of it because if you got that shit there's no point in playing anymore because you have nothing to work towards. And it seems like that's definitely not the case anymore. There are plenty of other weapons that seem to be even better than those guns. And I'm not just saying like, oh, the only way they solved the problem was they introduced different guns to the game that were just better. No, it seems like that there are guns specifically tailored for specific situations. And there are certain guns that, you know, obviously they'll be really good to say medium range but they suck at everything else whereas like the vector especially it's like okay well if they if they're standing right in fucking front of you you'll shred someone but if they're anywhere else medium to long range then it's fucking useless or the m1a which seems to have had a fucking huge damage debuff or decrease whatever you want to call it where it's basically it's not useless and it's good against like fucking pve and shit like that but it's definitely not nearly as good as it used to be and quite frankly i'm per i'm perfectly fucking okay with that because goddamn those people with their fucking first wave m1a's with balanced y'all can go fuck yourselves anyways guys i think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video hopefully you enjoyed i know it was a bit of a different thing especially since i don't do a ton of gaming content and whatnot Hopefully it was somewhat enjoyable. Also, hopefully it wasn't too much of a pain in the ass to watch at 2560 by 1080. And I know YouTube has support for that aspect ratio, but we'll see if it actually works because I'm not sure if there's any special criteria I have to meet to upload that. But whatever, hopefully it works out all right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos related to The Division or really any more like gaming content or if you even really want to see more videos recorded at this aspect ratio since this is typically what I play at and when I'm recording for YouTube I sort of, you know, fucking squinch things down and I don't use my full monitor so that kind of sucks. But if you enjoyed that part of it and you would like to see more stuff recorded like that, it's because there are a lot of games that look really good at this resolution and stuff like that, and the increased FOV looks fantastic, then, you know, go ahead, slap a like on it. Let me know in the comments down below if you had any thoughts on anything I mentioned in this video, or if you're perhaps interested in The Division and you've been playing it, and these new patches have really revitalized it for you. Fucking... Let's talk about it in the comments if you are so inclined. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.